Good morning. I'm Stan at Kissimmee Valley Feed, and today we're doing a uh, Facebook Live this morning, and we have Martha and Shannon here with their uh, as a team for All Star Mutts dog training that we're going to be starting here on June the 9th on Saturday morning from 10 a.m. to 11, uh, and they'll be they're experts at dog training first of all, so you really want to be able to participate in this. And now I'm going to try switching the camera around to them and let them tell you about their business. And sorry about the rain in the background, but it's just a pouring down here right now. So maybe we will be able to hear one another. And so here is Martha and Shannon. Hi, Hi. 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 I'm Martha. I'm Shannon. <laughs> we are, this is Evan, and we are All Star Months Dog Training. We're going to be doing some puppy classes, like Stan said, here from 10 to 11, starting on Saturdays, June 9th. Uh, we'd love to have you come down. Uh, we're really excited about offering this class. It's $10 per class. No need to sign up for every single week. Come when you can. All of our classes kind of follow the same structure. So if you have to, one Saturday you come and you skip the next Saturday, no big deal. Everything you learn, every single class, you'll be able to go home and implement into your everyday life to make your puppy or your dog a great part of your family. So this is Evan. He was recently adopted from the Florida Little Dog Rescue. So he's brand new to our pack. He is a year old, so he's not necessarily a puppy, but he does have a puppy mind because he didn't have any formal training before we got him. So we're going to work on some stuff with him today just to get you guys. And I'll talk a little bit about our classes. So our classes, we believe in play, learn, and thrive. So kind of what that means is each of our classes will have three, three elements of it. For example, we're going to have a play section, and that may happen throughout the whole hour we're here. Different times where your dog can socialize with the other puppies that are in the class, they're going to learn from the other dogs the proper way to play with each other. Um, they're also going to have interaction with the other owners, and again, they're going to learn proper interaction with other owners and things, you know, not jump up on people, how to approach people. Um, good job, buddy. Good job. Uh, and we're also going to play some games, some real confident building games, such as hide and go seek with your dog, or sniff out the tree, or you put a treat in your hand, which hand is it? All these games are going to build confidence in your dog, and they're going to build that relationship that you're really going to need to work as a team throughout your life with your puppy. Uh, we also believe that we take a behavior, it could be sit, lay down, uh, come, place, soft, place. There you go, buddy. And we're going to show you how to teach the behavior, then take the behavior home and implement it into your daily life. For example, if we're going to teach a sit in our first class, okay, your dog's going to sit. Now, when you go home, you're going to practice the sit in your living room with no distractions. Then you may add a couple distractions here and there, maybe a book dropping or somebody walking through the room. Then you're going to implement it too. Every time we come to a door, your dog's going to sit. You go through the door. Every time you come into a door, your dog's going to sit. Every time you walk up to someone on the streets, your dog's going to sit. And what we want is for your dog to take that behavior and make it just a part of their daily repertoire. A really great example of that is when you're learning to drive a car or your child's in the car with you. When you come up to a stoplight and it turns red, when you first learn to drive or the kids are learning the rules of the road, they have to say, oh, red light means stop. Red light means stop. When you're training someone to drive, you're like, okay, see the red light? We're gonna stop. But now you're older, you've driven for 20 years, you're passing drinks back to your kid, hopefully not texting, but you know, GPSing, you're, uh, you know, there's a lot of things going on. You've got the music on, you've got your kids asking for this, kids asking for that. You see a red light, you don't even think about it. Your mind already knows, I see the red light, I come to a stop. And that's where we want your dog to be. The dog walks up to somebody, he automatically sits. You don't have to tell him to sit. He knows those are the rules. I walk up to someone, I sit. Yeah, that person may come down and pet me, but my job is when my owner comes to a stop, I sit and wait for the next behavior. And then we also, that's kind of thriving. That's taking everything you learn in class and thriving with your dog. We want you to be able to take your puppy to Starbucks, to Home Depot, your dog as well, adult dogs as well. Um, and, and really, we just want to have fun with it. It is fun to own a dog. So we want to make sure you guys really get everything and all the information you need to make that happen. So right now, Shannon's working on Evan. He's actually learning a place. Good. And your place can be anything from a carpet piece to an elevated bed to a soft bed like this. Good. So what she's doing now is pairing the, pairing the, the word place 
Sometimes she's using her hands, sometimes she's using her body, sometimes she uses the leash to get Evan to go on the plate. Once he's there, she marks that with yes, good, whatever you choose that word. And what that means to mark it is when you get the behavior you want, you need to say something so that dog knows, ooh, when I hear that word, I get reinforcement. There's a treat coming. Evan. <laughs> and you want to give your dog a chance to fix himself. So she has been using good. Every time Evan gets on the bed, good treat follows. And then she gives a release word. All right is Shannon's release word. And that means, okay, you can get off the place now. We're going to do it again. And what you're going to do is extend that. Once he's on the place, you're just going to wait before you give the release. A little bit longer before you give the reinforcement. So once Evan's really good at this, this can become where your dog sits when you're cooking. You know, everybody has those dogs. I'm in there cooking. The dogs are underneath me. They're trying to get the crumbs. You've got the hot oven. You've got pans. So this would be a great way to implement this. Take your place. Put it outside the kitchen. You put your dog in their place as you're cooking. You're reinforcing them. And it all works out for the best. Nobody gets burned, nobody eats all the crumbs, and you don't trip over your dog in the kitchen. Works out good for the doorbell, too. You yes. Have a dog that the doorbell rings and they run to the doorbell, barking, 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 you can teach them a place. Pretty soon, when that doorbell rings, they know they're going to run to their place and they're going to get reinforced before you let someone in the house. Yep, absolutely. So, we got a lot of obedience stuff we're going to train, but we also want to do some fun training as well. That's kind of where Shannon and I are experiencing that. Um, we've actually worked for a a training company that does uh, entertainment-based shows for theme parks all across the country. So we know how to do some really cool trick, trick training. So this is something that Evan just learned. We kind of started it last night. This is called the figure eight. Yeah, so depending on your dog and their natural ability, you know, obviously this might be a little harder with a 80 pound lab, but you could do it. But we also have dogs that can jump rope. We have dogs that can do the weave like this. Um, you do pirouettes, turn left, turn right. Any kind of training Ooh, is good training. It doesn't all have to be just very strict, sit down, lay down, obedience. Those are great elements. But anything you do that builds that relationship with your dog is gonna help you and help your dog thrive in their environment, in your family. All right, so when you come to class, first of all, if you'd like to come to the class, Come here to the feed store, Kissimmee Valley Feed. You're gonna sign up at the front desk, write your name down. Three things you need to bring. Proof of vaccination, so rabies, uh, distemper, anything that that dog has had from your veterinarian. You also wanna bring your dog on a leash and collar. That can be a, a harness like Evan, or it can be a collar and leash. If you're not really sure what's the best collar or leash or harness for your dog, we have a huge selection here at Kissimmee Valley Feed. So you can bring whatever you have here and check out the aisle and we can kind of help you through what the best choice for each dog would be. Um, you also want to bring some of his favorite treats. So we're going to go over here. Shannon's going to show you some of our big choices here at the feed store that we love. My favorites are anything that Bill Jack offers. Um, we try to use really high value treats and something that's soft and small so that they can get lots of reinforcement without getting full during your session. So these, these are wonderful. Um, if you have dogs that I particularly at home have a lab that has a beef allergy, so Bill Jack offers a lot of stuff that does not have beef in it. Mm -hmm. um, this one right here too is a, also a really wonderful treat mm -hmm. to use. Yep. yep. So we encourage you guys to please come down, please sign up. Um, if anybody has any questions, this is a great time to chime in and uh, ask right below and then we can answer anything right now today online. Yeah, so. so again, come down and see us. We're really excited about offering this class and we really hope to build some great relationships with all the owners in St. Cloud and their new puppies. And if you are, again, like interested with an adult dog, although we don't have it on the schedule yet, please come down and show interest. Sign up your name. Say you have an adult dog. And we are planning on adding an adult class if, the, if enough people sign up. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to call and ask us. Enjoy your day. Wasn't that fantastic? Can you believe that we're going to be able to do things like that here at Kissimmee Valley Feed? That's exciting. I got an old dog at the house. They might even one day be able to teach that old dog some new tricks. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the vi this uh, live event that we've had this morning. And again, to reinforce, we have Martha and Shannon with All Star Mutts dog training classes that will be starting here on June the 9th, Saturday morning, 
from 10 a.m. to 11. So thank you for your time and uh, come on down to see us.